CF Moto put together a really awesome lots trailer video for their new Gen 3 C-Force 800 Touring and C-Force 1000 Touring. Let's watch that together real quick. All right, what do y'all think? Pretty impressive, right? I think they nailed the redesign. Go ahead and comment real quick before we dive into the specs. I've got some information for you. I've got pricing for you. But before we get into that, go ahead right now, take a minute and comment what uh, jumped out at you. What's your first impression? What do you think about it? Do you like the new styling? Go ahead and do that now, and then we'll conversate down in the comment section together. So we finally have a Seaforce 1000 Touring without the boxes, the Overland Edition, right? People's been asking for that, at least here at Main Street Cycle. The customers that come in here, they have been asking for a Touring model for a while. Now, I know many of you, you were expecting a single seat version. Maybe we'll talk about that at the end of this video, but yeah, I know, trust me, I want one too. But this is what we got, and I think CF Moto knocked this one out of the park. The redesign is awesome. We got some riding footage coming up next where I got to actually ride on the C Force 800, and it was a pre production model. That'll be in the next video. But let's talk about some of the features, some of the things that jumped out to me new CVT system, new uh, engines in both of them. So the 800 now has 75 horsepower. That's a big jump from the previous years. And then the 1000 is now at 90 horsepower. So before we dig into more features, let's go to the computer. We'll take a look at the specs. We'll go over all those things and maybe we'll finish out here and talk about why there are still going to be 24 models that are this same gen two design. You're still going to see 24 model overlands and the models that just released will also be 24 models. We'll clear the air on that and we'll finish this video together. So stay tuned to the end. All right, welcome to my computer. Uh, we're gonna actually take a look at the C-Force 800 first. This is the C-Force 800 Touring. And right off the bat, you can see the MSRP. It's gonna be $9,299 MSRP for the Tundra Gray and the Lava Orange. For the camo model, the True Timber camo, it's going to be $96.49. And this, of course, is plus freight and setup fees. The dealers, they get charged a lot of freight for these units. And also, of course, they have to pay their mechanics to uncrate them, the time to do all that stuff, unload them, crate, uncrate them, assemble them out of the crate, and get them checked out and then on the showroom floor. So that'll be in addition to the MSRP. And of course, we still get our CF Moto one year factory warranty. Now you can kind of pause the screen, read through all of this, but we're gonna have a tundra gray color, which you saw in the video, lava orange, you know, the lava orange looks awesome and the camo looks great as well. 
course, this is the 800 cc engine, 75 horsepower at 7,500 RPMs, 52 foot pounds of torque. Of course, we will be testing these numbers and seeing what it actually puts down to the ground with our dyno uh, in our shop here. So uh, the weight, that's a big thing, 959 pounds. It has seen a weight loss of a few pounds. So you can pull up the specs of the Gen 2. You can see that it did lose some weight and you can actually fill that out on the trails. It's not a lot, but I, I noticed it. So uh, here's a little bit about the motor. It's the all new CF Moto 800cc engine, delivers 75 horsepower, 52 foot pounds of torque and ride by wire technology. So again, you can read through these, but you're gonna have three ride modes, work, normal, sport, and uh, that's, that's gonna be awesome. The other thing is the all new CVT transmission, CF Moto's in-house design. So yes, if you're gonna ask me, here it is, CF Moto has designed this. And uh, it says CF Moto in-house designed and manufactured CVT. It's built to withstand the rigors of intense use ensuring longevity and peak performance. Not just stronger, it's also lighter and more durable than previous generation. And these improvements mean it can handle more torque and stress, translating to a transmission that delivers exceptionally smooth and dependable performance, especially under punishing conditions. I'm not gonna read every one of these, but you can pause and kind of read these. It's got a lot of stuff. This video would be super long, but it's got the big screen, seven inch TFT display, um, all kinds of cool stuff, connectivity with Apple CarPlay. That's why I hold on an ATV, uh, integrated navigation, music controls with real time vehicle monitoring. I mean, this thing is loaded, okay? Very awesome. Here's the specifications. This is where you can see the length, width, and height, the wheelbase, ground clearance 11.4, and you got the 26 inch tires. All right, we're on the C-Force 1000 now. And here's what's surprising, the price. I didn't really know where they were gonna go with the price on the 1000, but it's only $9,999 MSRP for the Tundra Gray and the zircon black i'm probably saying that wrong but it's the black one and then of course we have a camo so not a lot of color options but um at, well it's one more option than we've had in the other 1000s here in the u.s so that's great uh camo is going to be 10,349 msrp plus freight and setup one year factory warranty 90 horsepower at 7500 rpms so this is the basically the same power output as the 950 HOEX. So that is exciting. 63 foot-pounds of torque. Again, we will test these on our dyno and see what we're actually putting down to the wheel. These are numbers rated at the crank. They don't try to stretch their horsepower numbers uh, because we have seen very little loss on the dyno compared to what they're saying at the crank to the ground. And that's a great thing. So 90 horsepower, I can guarantee you, you're gonna feel that. And then of course the weight loss, we're seeing it under a thousand pounds at 963 pounds uh, for the ATV. So that's awesome. And you can take that seat off and you're gonna lose several pounds because that seat is heavy. Uh, it's a very sturdy and strong seat. That's why it does weigh what it weighs. But again, this is, uh, they're calling this an all new motor, um, our engine, uh, 963 CC engine. It delivers 90 horsepower and 63 foot pounds of torque. Same, you know, drive by wire. It's going to have all the modes. So that's awesome. New transmission. Everything else is going to be the same, uh, as the 800, I believe, but you're getting fully adjustable gas shock suspension. Your two up. And then here's your specs here should be pretty much the same as the 800 overall, you know, really close to the same, but you're getting 27s on the uh, 1000. So that's awesome. But yeah, so again, you can pause it up there on the specs if you'd like to see that. I'm sure it's going to be listed on their website here if it's not already, but uh, at the time of me uploading, it probably is. But anyways, 
that's it here. Now we're going to go out back to the showroom and end this video. The Seaforce 1000 Overland is still an amazing buy, especially for the price because of all of the add-ons that you're getting uh, at that low MSRP. You're getting a front bumper with LED lights, uh, kind of what some people call them fog lights, but you got that. You've got a bash plate. You also have the windscreen here and you have these massive boxes back here that make it the Overland Edition really because of, I mean, you can carry so much stuff in these boxes. All right, this ain't for everybody, right? But if you are into overlanding, camping, going out for long rides, you can carry along a lot of stuff. You got a rear bumper, beadlock wheels. This is a great buy. I mean, if you took a Seaforce 800, for instance, and tried to put all of these things over onto the 800, it's gonna cost you, actually it's gonna cost you a few thousand more dollars. But with the Seaforce 1000 Overland, the 20, this is a 23 model right here, so is that one. You've got 24 models as well, and those are gonna be continue to be available. I don't know how long, I think it's gonna stick around for a little while, but for sure for 2024, you can still buy a 2024 Seaforce 1000 Overland and uh, for any dealerships that still have a few 23 models left, there's no changes between the 23 and 24 model Overland edition uh, other than just the color. So if you like these colors here, that's still available for you. In Main Street Cycle, they have a few here. The Seaforce 800, that's where things get a little, little tricky for me, uh, in my opinion. Uh, because the Seaforce 800 Touring that we just looked at, that just released, is not much cheaper than the Seaforce 1000 Touring. Uh, the MSRP is only, I think, what was it, $700 difference? So, in, in my opinion, the Seaforce 1000 is a no-brainer, okay, to go with the Seaforce 1000 Touring over the Seaforce 800. It's just not a big enough price gap in my opinion. But the 800, I mean, it's an awesome machine. I've had one and, and man, built it out and it's been awesome. So yeah, personally, it's hard for me to make a video and not put in my personal uh, taste and what I, you know, kind of how I feel about things. And man, I am pumped and fired up about the Seaforce 1000 Touring that is coming uh, I don't have a date yet. I don't know when these are going to be at dealerships. I'll try to let you know as soon as we can. But right now, we still have the Overland 1000. Those are awesome. We have Seaforce 800s as well. They're awesome. You know that we love them. They're, man, they're super strong. They're proven to be very reliable, great engines, great machines. This styling, a lot of people like it a lot. So... It's still available for you, and you will see 24 models in this style uh, for this year. I, I'm assuming it's going to phase out and go to the Gen 3 for 25, uh, and, it, and you won't be able to get this anymore. So if you like this styling better, I, I think this is a little more muscular, rigid look than the new futuristic style. So if you like it, then, hey, you better jump on one, get one, at a great deal. I know that Main Street Cycle is giving out great deals for these units, so come on and see us here at Main Street Cycle and get you a Seaforce 800, or you can get you an Overland as well. I'm super excited about the Seaforce 1800 Touring that's coming, especially that 1000. I can't wait to build one out myself, and uh, really excited about that. I've got ride footage coming up where we actually go out and test the Gen 3 Seaforce Touring models. And I'm really excited to show you that. So that's coming up in a video probably next. So stay tuned to the channel. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to support us or support, help support me, show appreciation to these videos, just simply shop for all of your parts and accessories at teammscparts.com. And also, if you're in the market for a new ATV or side-by-side, -side, Come to Main Street Cycle in Tishomingo. Would love to meet you. And uh, we'll definitely hook you up, take care of you, and give you the best customer service possible. God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.